Hey everybody, you're here at the Chaos DEI Working Group, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Working Group. Um, yeah, I hope everyone's having a great day. I will share my screen as I usually do. Uh, as you know, I think everyone on the call has been on calls before, but just in case, this is part of the Chaos Code of Conduct, so just keep that in mind as you interact. I would really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. Uh, if you want to tell us how your day is going, that was about as creative as I could get with the icebreaker questions today. So sorry about that. <laughs> I just didn't I just didn't have it in me. And I was looking for the doc and it, I know it's somewhere because I just sent it to somebody. But yeah, anyway, um, I, Allison, I'm with you 10,000%. I can't believe it's only Wednesday. I'm ready for the weekend for sure. Yeah, we can just we can just decide that, right? Can't we just decide? I mean, weeks are arbitrary anyway. Like, yeah. I, we should just make it be now. I'm with you. Uh, that's my platform. If I run for public office, it's just like a three-day week, and then the rest is the weekend. Um, so this is, uh, bring, I'm bringing this up in every single meeting. Daylight savings time is this weekend in the United States. So if you are not um, in the United States, in a place, actually not even all of the US does daylight savings, um, but if you are in a place that doesn't do it or hasn't done it yet, uh, the calendar will be different for you for this meeting in particular. So we're going to move our clocks ahead an hour. And I'm, I'm actually not sure what that means for you <laughs> because it kind of I keep messing it up in my brain. It's hard. I don't I don't know. Math. Math is hard. Plusing and minusing. No. So anyway, my point is, please just check the chaos calendar if you have copied this meeting into your personal calendar, because it will not reflect the change so you may show up at the wrong time if you do that so just check the chaos calendar um we can pr provide a link here i can do it right now it's just uh chaos.community slash chaos calendar um so just double check that if you're not subscribed and if you have copied that over to your personal calendar questions on that from anybody Pretty straightforward, but it you know, made me wonder how much you liked those two trains moving in the same direction no. at different speeds. Questions. No, <laughs> no. this is why I'm very excited about AI because AI. Just <laughs> tell me what that is. Like I don't even need to to know it. So I can fill my brain with other things, like Jeff Bezos' first um, domain that he bought, right? <laughs> that we all know now. <laughs> I should, that's, that might be our next question. If you've ever bought a domain, like what was the first oh, one? There you go. Oh, that's a good one. Next time, next time. So think hard. Uh, okay, so no questions on that. Just making sure everybody's cool. Okay. okay. So I am very excited because I put a, a blast out on Mastodon, LinkedIn, all my personal things. Because um, I'm thinking surely somebody has solved this issue. May basically, our issue with the calendar, the chaos calendar uh, is twofold. One, there's a whole lot of meetings. So right now you can only subscribe to all of chaos. And then you have to like do some janky stuff by hiding meetings that you don't want. Um, and it just seems like a lot. So um, I mean, it's, it's okay. It's not terrible. It's okay. Um, but then the other um, problem we have is that the, this whole daylight savings time thing and so for people who have copied it to their personal calendar it doesn't change and we have to remind them and so there's just yeah it's the solution is not very elegant so i put this blast out somebody brought up this team up which i don't know if anybody on here has ever heard of i had not and it is amazing i am so excited so i just wanted to show this to you all this is the first time anybody's seeing this so this is a, a free account that we have um we can have what they call sub calendars so you can just subscribe to a sub calendar and not you can also subscribe to all if you want um, but you can just subscribe to a sub calendar so since we only have eight sub calendars with our free account i kind of lumped them in so um if we wanted to like this is um we could put this on our website um but if you wanted to just see like for instance the chaos community meetings you can shut all these other things off there's Chaos Asia, there's Chaos Africa meetings, here's the case. So you would, if you're going to subscribe, you would get all these pink ones if you're subscribing to this calendar. The context working groups, I, I lumped them together too. Hmm. Oops, if I can figure out how to do this, there we go. Why won't it do it? Okay, sorry. 
Um, so you would get all of them, but that's at least a little bit more manageable for people. And if we wanted to upgrade, we certainly could. Uh, I think it's uh, $10 for 12 calendars, but we even have more than that. So we would have to bump up to the $25 a month or 25 calendars if we wanted to. But I feel like this might work. We, we could at least try it if you all want. Um, yeah, so that's it. And then the other question I had for this group was that uh, it does show, um, it shows the time in the, the time of the meeting. So I couldn't decide if that's actually better than the way we have it now, which is the whole calendar is displayed in central time. So it looks like this meeting here happens on Wednesday night. So for me, it does happen on Wednesday night, but that's super confusing to people in the region. They're going to, you know, why are we meeting at 930 at night? So I don't, I don't know how we would communicate that this meeting here is actually tied to India standard time, unless we put it here in the title. Because I think that that's confusing because it looks like it's all happening at the same right. time. So that would be my only thing. Same thing with the chaos Africa meetings. Uh, mm -hmm. which are tied, of course, to West Africa time. Yep. But it doesn't show that anywhere for you. So that's the only piece that I was a little bit confused on, the um, the way it will look to people. And I don't know about um, showing it in a user's local time. I'm not sure about that piece yet. That would be like the most elegant if we could figure that out, how to display that on the website in a user's local time. So you would just like know what time it was for you. You don't have to worry about doing any kind of Right, you know, which is what the calendar. Mm, okay, I guess maybe two questions. One, the stuff I'm seeing over on the left side, mm -hmm. you know, like all of your the eight mm -hmm. from one. So, do I, as a user, would I download all of them and then toggle them on and toggle them off? No, you can just calendar. Get a, yeah, so you can just get a link to um, just or, that calendar. So when when we put it on, so I would. We would have to do a few things. We would have to provide the link to the iCal URL, which is how mm -hmm. you would subscribe in Google. For to, the sub, to the sub calendar. To the sub calendar, okay. yeah. So if I go here, I'm logged in as Chaos Project. So if I yep. go here, to, uh, I think it's under settings. Okay. Oh, geez, I'm not logged in now. Let me, all right, hold on. Don't look at my passwords. <laughs> You can see it. I don't know if you We're can. Recording the IKEA, yeah, we can't. They're they're obscured. <laughs> okay, uh, so we would go into calendars. So, um, like we, I would look at Chaos Africa. Oops, that's not the right one. Sharing is what I want. So this, for instance, is the sub calendar, and I haven't created them for all of them yet because I wanted yep. to make sure. But um, so, like this would be the link that you would you would pick to subscribe to the whole Just thing that if that makes calendar. sense yeah it does okay and then would there be one that i could subscribe to all yes that would be this one i think um okay. which is just all the things because I, I kind of like having them all on there yeah yeah and for like so. like power users or group you know like project kind of leaders or project mm -hmm. people who are in a lot of things probably would want all of them like i would yeah. want all of them also yeah, but most yeah. of our people only come agreed. to maybe one or two so yeah agreed okay so I don't know. I mean, I think no, that seems good. And then um, the other the other thing was like showing in local time. Like right now, when I look at my calendar, I see them all in central time. You know what I mean? So like yeah. I look at the the Chaos Africa meetings and they're like at 4.30 a.m. my right. time, thing like that, which it's, I don't mind because I just I know I'm not going to those anyway. So are you, when, are, you, are you talking about your personal calendar or this one on the website? Um, well, that one, just because I copy that one over. I, yeah. I just use, I don't actually ever transport this over to my personal calendar, but that doesn't matter. Okay. Um, uh, I think when you do subscribe, you will get it in your local time. Okay. But when we display it is the question. Because like we display, display it here. Yeah, only in central, because that's what it's. That's what it's like. So I think maybe what you recommended was just like somehow saying like in WAT, you know, like just you put it in the title. Like this is this is 9 a.m. West Africa yeah. time. Or is it IST, I think? Yeah, for, for India, 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 India time. Yeah. So just putting it in the title, maybe like a parentheses before. Or something yeah. like that. 
I think that would definitely help clarify for people so they mm -hmm. kind of just know what it's tied to. And then also the um, that way they also know if it's going to change for daylight savings, because you may have it like in your mind, like I know when meetings are. So I don't even look at my calendar some days because I'm like, I know when my meetings are because I yeah, yeah. you know it's so regular. But if I'm if I'm not doing daylight savings, then that's just completely yeah. thrown. Though, so. this, is, this looks good. This looks like an yeah. improvement. And I, I like having this conversation here too, because I do think calendars are an inclusivity issue. I, <laughs> oh, I yeah. totally agree. I totally yeah. agree. And I think there are other features, like you can get it on your phone and whatever else. And you mm -hmm. we can add keywords if we want to lump different things together that people might be interested in. We can also assign these to more than one sub calendar an event. So like if the if we decided we wanted all the community meetings in one, yeah. we could also tag it in that calendar as well. So that somebody could just get all the community okay. meetings as well. Does that make sense? So I so like with Allison on the call. So like Allison, you participate in the university open source context group that's happening next. But like right now you would get you would also get the corporate OSPO. And you would get the science research. Like there's three in that group. And, and app. I added app ecosystem in that and too. App so ecosystem. there's four in that group. So how how would somebody like Allison like bring this in and then could she get rid of the other three that she may not care about? I think so. That's actually a good question. Um that's a good question. Because you're you're now subscribing to like a totally, you know, URL calendar. And I think that that's what people have been doing. And um than just hiding the other events i think okay. is what's happening i mean allison you're welcome to all the other ones but <laughs> <laughs> just i mean you know what do you, like what do you placeholder think allison? invites and stuck the the zoom links in there i kind of okay rigged up my own setup here <laughs> got you well that's the other thing too you can um set your own notifications for these if when you add it like if you're adding it in google you set up what kind of notifications you want for these meetings um even though it's like an, an external calendar you can still set up what kind of which okay. i kind of like too um this seems to solve problems it doesn't solve every problem but it solves right. problems and doesn't create more I don't think it does. So that's like a, a step that, in the yeah. right direction. <laughs> right, that's a stellar uh, recommendation, I know, but I'm very confident. No, um, it, you know, we can try it to see, and if it doesn't, we can always. I will. Yeah. I will keep both going just in case. You know, for yeah, like. Let's, let's try it. I think it's worth giving it a shot. And then, you know, if people are like, I don't want all these contexts working, I just want the one I'm going to. That's the only one I want. Then we could talk about maybe upgrading or reshuffling these around or whatever we want. Okay. To get more of these calendars because we're kind of limited. So. Okay. Sean's our upgrade guy. So. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. My <laughs> headphones just died. So I was gone for like the last 30 seconds and I heard my name when my earphones came back on. We just oh, said you're I, the upgrade guy. You're the upgrade guy. Whenever we need to upgrade accounts, you're always the upgrade <laughs> yep. guy. Yeah, do we have a upgrade here? That I missed? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay. Yeah, just let me know. These things are usually not very expensive. We can also add, um, you can add, there's a, a place, that I don't have it um, enabled here, but we can add a, a custom field if we ever wanted to, to add something else. I don't know what that would be, but if we wanted to add like the name of a facilitator or something like okay. that, we could do that. We yeah, have yeah. a custom field we can add, so just going to throw that out there. And then I think um, there was one other thing I wanted to show, but I'm not sure how yeah. to do it. It, and it was like what the event looks like to other people. I so see. if you click on it, it looks not like this because I'm logged in. But if somebody wants to go here, I, it should be it should be open. I don't know, actually. Somebody try it and see if you can see that. Or does it make you want to log in? It makes me log in. OK, I'll work on that, how to share the whole thing okay. and embed it somewhere. Let me make a note of that. I mean, I'm wondering, like, it, it could just be also just taking a little bit of time if we do the upgrade to think about what calendars might be or like what shared groups might be. So, for example, like, 
university open source might just be its own group. Yeah, for and sure. Each of the context groups might just be its own group. That might be the most sensible thing. And then like you had, um, I think it was like Chaos Africa. Yeah. That would be a sensible group to me, mm -hmm. just because they have a design meeting, they have their weekly meeting. So that might be a reasonable grouping. And then others might be like um, chaos working groups, like just all the working groups. That's like metric models, metrics, yeah. you know, just the kind of the, the more detailed yeah. we have. Yeah. DEI, yeah could, DEI could be in that working group collection. I don't know. Just maybe we could think about groupings too that would sure. be good for people. Totally agree. And I think that's something we won't Software know. Software is good. I think that yeah. like, that's a good category. Yeah. But like data, yeah. I wasn't sure where to put data science. So I gave right. it. Right. So just maybe an exercise on how we might group these. <laughs> yeah based on like what people kind of want. Mm -hmm. So yeah, which, uh, how should we group these? Oh, and see. part of me was just kind of reflecting on myself, like, like in the OSPO, the corporate OSPO working group, I don't see those people in the university open source working context group. So those those should probably be separate, but like yeah. metric model, data science, metrics, maybe data science is a little funny, but like metrics and metrics models, those those are a lot of the same people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, a, yes, I totally agree. I, I think there was, there is a little overlap between the science and university, it seems like. There sometimes. is sometimes. Well, uh, not, not people, but they talk about the same things. Right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> we'll force them to be in the same place. <laughs> we should really go to all these, everybody. Um, yeah, so we'll, we can refine, but we get eight yep. total. Okay. So um, we can be a little flexible on how that goes. And just kind of see. I mean, I hate to kind of switch it around on people once they subscribe, but we can just tell people resubscribe because we've moved everything. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, thanks for that. Yeah. Oh, there was one thing I did want to bring up too. Um, it, so if you subscribe to this URL for your sub calendar, any changes made can take up to 12 to 24 hours to reflect on Outlook, Google. Okay, Allison's nodding. I did not realize that. So I'm like refreshing, refreshing, refreshing. Like, why isn't this updating? This doesn't work. This is awful. So I, then I did a little research and I was like, oh, that's why, because it just takes a while. So we will have to just communicate that for other folks that didn't know that, like me. So, yeah. I always think everything's instantaneous. I do too. It's the internet. I'm honest. <laughs> Information. Much. It is. Everything is instantaneous. If you're not experiencing it that way, you might be having a problem with your internet service provider. Right? Just so, wires. I know. Just do it. Like, what's the hold up? Just do it. What are we? In the dark ages? Come on. Just do it. Okay. So cool. Thank you, everybody. I was very yep. excited about this yesterday. <laughs> a little, probably more excited than I should have been, but it was just made me really happy. So thank you for sharing in my enthusiasm of, over calendars. Um, yeah. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to move on unless anybody has questions or final comments on it. All good. Okie dokie. This is um, just a reminder for, in case you didn't catch that, um, Chaos Asia is starting up again this week. Um, the meetings are at 8 a.m. Let's look at our calendar and see when the meetings are. They're at All 8 right. on uh, Thursdays, every other Thursday. And there is an agenda, although I don't have it handy, but there is a pretty good agenda so far. Mm -hmm. And there will be a lot of like foundational stuff. Yep. So I, I will be there. I don't know if anybody else plans on being there. Um, it is going to be in the evening tonight if you are uh, not, if you're over in this side of the world, it's tonight, so. Have you given Divya all the, like, Zoom permission things? I haven't yet, but I will, for okay. sure. Yeah, because I don't want to attend every time. Yeah. <laughs> Especially exactly. next week, it'll be like 10.30 my time. And, yeah, and no. I'll be sleeping then, probably. Yes. Or trying to, anyway. <laughs> Maybe not, but I'll be trying. So, yeah, I definitely will do that. Okay. And I need to add her to the group of the regional leads as well. Yeah, yeah. I haven't done that yet either. So. Okay. 
Um, let me just make a note here for myself. Add. Okay. Okay, cool. Any questions, comments, anything about that? <clears throat> All good. Okay. Uh, the next one, some issue with event badging. I am very aware of this. Um, we, uh, oh, wait. This is not the issue that I was looking at. Well, I just, I saw one that, it, I think it came across Slack this morning. Yeah, the badging bot has uh, been down for a few days. Um, okay. Is that what we're talking about? Um, yes, no. Hi. Hi, Elizabeth. This is Adeinka. Hi, Adeinka. Um, <laughs> so I put that there. Um, I wanted to give you a feedback on that. Um, not as as you wouldn't be attending the meeting today. So um, the button bot had um, some downtime, and um, that was why the event budget, the last event budget, couldn't be uh, it had some issues, and um, we had to wait for you know to resolve it before we could actually um, review the event. And that was because of um, this issue we had already raised, because because um, the server was updating while that request was being made. So um, an issue has been created so that we can solve this issue by message queuing. And um, we'll be implementing that. Um, very somebody's going to take that up. Do you have any questions? I do not, and I am so happy that you're here and that you're keeping an eye on this. I appreciate your help because I know Enoch. I, so I had just messaged Enoch straight up to tell him, like, "Hey, can you kick the bot?" And this was uh, like I don't know, a while, like a few days ago, and he is completely swamped, and all of his classes uh, conflict with chaos meetings. So he's until the classes change, he's kind of um, not able to come. So I was like, okay, no big, you know, but whenever you can. And so I'm so I'm just really happy that you're here at Edinka and you can kind of help keep things rolling and, and um, organized. So I'm sure our event people appreciate that as well. <laughs> so so thank you to Enoch, but thank you to you too, Edinka, for being on top of it. So yeah. I just so yeah. I, oh, go ahead. Okay, okay so um, this and then also I noticed some, um, I had some observations that I had written to the channel. Uh, I'm not sure if that was supposed to be the right place to put that. But, um, I just have to put that there, out there. I don't know if anyone saw it. It's also re related to the event that on the, yes, on the DEI working group. Yeah, I just put the link in the chat. Okay. So it, it seemed like it was just out of Yanka. It was just for your review and just some comments on the experience, I think. Yes. I will take a look at those comments. I haven't seen that message yet. Okay. So I will take a look. Okay. okay. I'm not going to click okay. on it now because. Okay, no problem. I'm just saying that because it's related to the um, event budget. Um, okay, so do you have any question on this before I move on to the next one? I think good. Yeah, I think we're good. Thank you. Okay, so sorry, I couldn't place um, I couldn't place the things I wanted to discuss very well because I'm on tablet. So forgive me. Um. Project badging update also. And um, let me start with this one. Yes, the issue 93. Okay, so the issue here is um, the apply for badge button is the same for the project badging and the event badging. So it can be confusing for a newcomer who comes to the website. With the motive of only applying, so they might end up um, clicking on project budget when they actually want to go to event budget. So we just want to uh, ask for ideas on how we can uh, maybe we can strategize on where to place the button. 
I, I agree with that. I know what you're talking about. And I think the apply, I think the button that I see right there, like it changes based on where you are tab wise. You know, like if you're on event badging and you click apply, it takes you to the proper place. And if you're on project badging and you apply, it also takes you to the pro proper place. But to your point, like it would be nice to provide some clarity as to what you're actually applying for. So I was asking, probably if anyone has ideas on what we can do. Um, yes, we um, put that in there so that uh, the designers can actually see and try to see how we can modify it. I mean, would it be too hard to say apply for event badge or apply for project badge in that button? Would it make it button too oh. big? So the, the thing is, um, that button is actually serving two purposes. So if we have to um, use it for one, we we might have to find another location for both. So. Yeah, I'm not sure. Aside from changing the color to indicate, like if we had you know, assigned kind of a color to event badging and a color to project badging. I don't know how else you would clarify that. If we can't really change the wording, we could maybe change the color based on the context, but uh, I don't know. Yeah. Are there, oh, they're saying, oh, also the goal, oh, the same location. Okay, so maybe moving the location of it. Is that, that's the other option it looks like? Where to place? This I think at least the suggest the first suggestion to work. My thoughts. Just having two of them so that when you want to click that button, you'll have option to select which one you want. That could work. You mean like a drop down? Yeah. That's a like good a idea. So you would click that, Elizabeth, yeah. I mean, it doesn't click, but then it would just give you a drop down of apply yes. for project badge or apply for event badge. I like that. Yes. Should we add that here? Thank you. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like that idea. Anything else to add to this? No. Okay. Sean and I need a keyboard off one like day. A dance, like a dance off. Yeah. Yeah. You can have your clicky. I'm not using keyboard. my clicky keyboard. I'm using. It's not me. I'm. I'm using. I've got, I, I pulled out this little. I pulled out this little soft keyboard. That's not me. Somebody's gonna win. It's uh, my clicky keyboard. Is I'm not using it. I love this keyboard and it has lights underneath the keys that I can control. It's like my son's old gaming keyboard. I know, the, I know those keyboards. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, 15 years old now. I don't even know. No, not that old, but it's pretty old. It's been through a lot. It's, it's they're, they're nice because they're so manual. They're, they, they have that really tactile feel to them. Very satisfying, yeah. yes. I feel so productive when I'm typing. It's like, yes, I am working hard, even if I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> um okay uh oh now look here see my keyboard said you hey why are you talking about me <laughs> okay do we want to look at this other one here at inca is that okay are we good to yes, go on please. okay let's look at this um, 89. 89 it was yeah keyboards rebelling now so um 
we just want to inform um we just want to inform you that it has been worked on the ui even though it has not been deployed yet um it, it will soon be deployed but it has not worked on so it's just to inform people. sounds good yes and um, finally also the veg padding forms are also ready they are they are designed now and then they are under review oh yay so, uh, <laughs> there will be more um context to this um in the channel awesome that makes me very happy <laughs> thank you it's so nice to see all of these like things move along like really nicely yes um and it's also nice to see them like we don't have we for a while we had like really pressing deadlines around project badging and like we had like we really had to get things done if you recall like according to like press releases and timings of things and it's nice to not have like be able to watch this grow and evolve without those deadlines looming either so agreed agreed and people can just be creative and yeah time and like make it look awesome and yeah yes i love it okay if there's no other questions for eddie inca we could move on are we good Thank you. yeah thanks for the updates that was great yeah i appreciate that very much Thank uh you. okay updated the demographics metric that was yeah. just for the event demographics. We yeah. had talked about it last week that there were some updates to the event demographics metric, if you recall. Yes. Um, to to kind of be a little bit more thoughtful for event organizers who may need to capture that information. Worked. Look at that. I went to the. <laughs> I was, I, that was, I was watching closely, of course. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Deshaun, did you put this in here? Nope. I did not. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You know what? Maybe I did. I did. Maybe I did. <laughs> Maybe that was one of the things that I turned on, quote unquote, yesterday. <clears throat> okay, wait, I'm going to be taking that out, just so you know. <laughs> That's fine. If you have trouble figuring out where it got put in, uh, I can undo. I know what I did. Okay. It I mean, did not I, appear. For in my defense, it did not appear at all yesterday when I was tweaking it. It like nothing ever changed. So, I guess something got refreshed overnight. Because updates on the internet take forty eight hours. <laughs> yeah, right. we must have learned earlier internet. today. <laughs> nothing is instantaneous. The horse has to carry the buggy with the message. To, yeah. Um, okay. Oh, we need to fix that right here. Oh, whoops. It looks oh, like I did it backwards. It looks like no. There's just a space there. No, no, no. It's I think it's supposed to be parentheses and then square brackets around the for markdown to work. Oh, I oh okay. See what I'm saying? Yes, I do. Like this, but that one didn't work. So there might be just like a space. Oh, or maybe so. Yeah. Okay. A little fixy. Right. It okay. Anyway. No worries. Easy, easy. Do you want to talk through the changes that were made in the metrics? Uh, really, honestly, the I think at the broadest level, we just made changes that kind of um, just helped event organizers think about how they might or might not want to collect demographic information. Because um, the way the metric was written was, you know, here's how you will collect demographic information. And so we just kind of softened it a bit by saying, you know, if you're collecting demographic information, Here's how you might want to go about doing it. I think we added like surveys after the fact, you know, so just kind of being a little bit more thoughtful. We added this too to just like point people again to the data use statement about privacy and collecting and storing that information. Um, and yeah, we also, uh, there was something else we did. Oh, we added this option to opt out. I, th I don't think that was in there before either. Right. Yeah. So it feels like it was kind of just, you know, taking a look at the words that we had there and trying to back off a little bit of like telling people how to collect demographic information, but 
kind of saying, if you're doing this, here, here are ways to think about it. And so then we need to update the the question. The question. Could you go to maybe we can just figure out what we should. Yeah, it's in an HTML file somewhere, so it's not easy. Like it's not in it's in GitHub, but it's you can't just do like apply for event badge, and it'll we'll see it there. Uh, what do you mean? Like go here to the badging? Yeah. Did I click? Just there we go. And then event badge, and then apply. Can you guys hear Lucy snoring? I do. A little bit, yeah. I'm like a helicopter. And so just go to like in-person event. So can we see it here? Detail the process for measuring, provide an example. It's like maybe we could just, you know, copy these. That actually doesn't sound bad, does it? Detail no. the process for measuring the de event demographics. Uh, if mm, that, yeah. So Is like, that... yeah, this, this, yeah, that kind of pushes people to, to measure yeah. event demographics. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so maybe that could be like, if measuring a de event demographics, please detail the process. Yeah. Okay. So let's, we could just fix it right now. We have a little bit of time. Well, the problem is, I don't know that. Oh, not fix it, but like the text for you. Yeah. Uh, I think it's in, I'm not sure where it lives. No, no, no. Just go to, go back to badging. Uh, oops, wait a minute. I have too many tabs now. Uh, where was that? Right here? Yeah. So just copy and paste. And detail. Okay. Just it was what I'm saying and put it in the minutes. Got you, got you, got you. Okay. And, and then below it, we can just hit enter and say like, yes, exactly. new, exactly. If <laughs> event demographics describe the process. Okay. Thank so you. We yeah, we could do that for each of these now. Okay. Provide an example. Provide an example of an opt out option. For demographics. Yeah. But if they're not collecting it at all. So maybe again with the if collecting. Yes, if collecting and if collecting. Yeah. And so maybe would we want to add. I'll let you finish that. First. If measuring on the next two questions. Yes. And so would we want to, is there a way that we could put a question in here that would be if you're not measuring event demographics? Because like right now, go back again. Yeah. So this, so like right now it says, you know, under event demographics, mm -hmm. it says that this event commits to speaker diversity and inclusion. So I feel like that needs to change too. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can not measure event demographics and still commit. Yeah. Um... So we can have them check and then just say, t tell us more about how the event commits. Like, yes, something like that. Yeah, just like generically, like, what are you doing? What, how are you thinking about this kind of a thing? Would that suffice? Yeah, so how does that tie in? Could you scroll up a little bit? Mm -hmm. All right, so that's just the name of the person. Then we have event demographics, and then we have inclusive experience at the event. Mm -hmm. Code of conduct, code of conduct. Yeah, and family friendliness. Okay, so scroll up then. So event demographics and inclusive experience at the event. Could so really event demographics is all about demographics, but it's possible they're answering nothing with respect to demographics. C correct. I think 
Yes, correct. I think we had also said to that we wanted to encourage them to think about how they're improving. So um, that could also be the question is um, explain how you consider event demographics or how you're what you're doing to improve the demographic diversity at your event. I like so that. that. Yes. Yeah, I like that. And just let it leave it be. Yeah, because that that doesn't necessarily require collecting demographic information. Right. right. Yeah. Actually, I want to make this above that other one. Yeah. I like that. And that'll just be the first thing that they answer. Mm -hmm. And then it's like if measuring, okay, blah. Yep. And then could you go back to the thing again? Yeah. So this so like the check boxes of this event commits to speaker. And then the one below it, this event commits to attendee. I'm not sure that those are necessarily like speaker specific. Yeah, agreed. Or or attendee specific. Yeah, you can to demographics, but <laughs> not just speaker specific. <laughs> right. This is supposed to be for everybody, not just speaker. Yeah. I think originally it was making sure that they had a, a diverse lineup of speakers. Okay. And then it kind of grew to be like, oh, well, you also need a diverse group of attendees because people will feel more included if, you know, they're not the only person that looks like them at the event. So maybe this should just say this event commits to, you know, Demographic improving demographics. Yeah. Improving. Then the next one would also change, which is like this event is commits to improving the experience for everyone at the event, whatever. I think those are a little bit more in yeah. line with the titles. Yeah, agreed. And then um, this criteria might have to, well, that's okay. I think this criteria should change. Do we, do we even, what is that criteria for? So that's what the um, reviewers will help. That helps them check I see. the boxes okay. or that they're Yes, that the, the event is doing these things. So we'll change that criteria. Okay. I think we should just take it out. Yeah, I think we should take it out too, because I'm pretty yeah, sure the applicants don't look at it. They're just answering the questions. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. And that, you know, although the LF did not say, LF event team didn't say that this was the thing, I think that they were worried about that, that that's a yeah. criteria that they can't. Right, that, and if they're choosing not to, which is completely fair. Totally fair, right. Yep. Especially okay. given the amount of thought that they've put into it. And, you know, like it's yeah. not like they decided that on a whim, like that was a, a very thoughtful, mindful decision. Okay. Yeah. Agreed. These are good starts. Where maybe yep. other things that we might change, but I think those would be good starts. Agreed. Agreed. Okay. And we do, by the way, in case anyone's wondering, we do have three more metrics that we need to put in the event badging process that have been kind of um, in limbo for a little while until we get the process fixed and the new um, form and the new uh, website. So I guess that maybe that's something for Eddie Inca that we will. I know Enoch knows this, but I don't know if you know this. We are, um, there are three metrics that we're gonna be adding in for the next version of the badging. So as soon as it's all like um, settled, you know, then we can add them in once it's like working. Does that make sense? 
Yes, it does. Okay. Awesome. Okay, anything else on this um, in particular? No, that was good, thank you. Event location inclusivity is another one that we changed, I think, right? Yes. And that is another one of the metrics that is gonna be added in as soon as the event. Oh, budget. okay. Yeah. Okay. Do we wanna show that metric too, just to show people what it looks like? Yeah, we could. I think, oh, it's, you know what, we're out of time. We are out of time. Yeah, wow, Whoa. that flew by. What, was this can, anything? Um, it was just what it says, because we're going to have the OSSNA panel about badging. Okay. And I think we should probably have something coming from us that is in line, like a picture of the panelists and then some text that we okay. share on socials. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, there we go. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Done. All right. Thank you, everyone. This is a great meeting. Yeah. I really appreciate being here. And we'll Thanks, see you everybody. next time. Okay, bye. bye.